Hi, good evening to all. <coughs> Today we are going to look at an important topic of uh, business statistics. The topic is now <coughs> skewnesses. Under the skewnesses now, we need to now look at the method of now skewnesses as now called Pier Pearson's now coefficient. <coughs> How to calculate the called Pearson's now coefficient now? of the skewnesses. Skewnesses na is a described the shape of a distribution. If we need to calculate skewnesses, we need to know now how to calculate the measure of a central tendency and the measure of a dis dispersal. The data is even here <coughs> through which we can calculate the coefficient of Carl Pearson's. The heading would be calculation of car Pearson's coefficient of skewnesses. It is individual series. Individual series series. <coughs> we have different kind of a series. And according to that, na, the formula will differ. Here is individual series. Sometimes we can get a discrete series or continuous series. According to that, we have to change the formula. <coughs> First the given data. Na, how to put in the x, x, x column then uh, we need to total it uh, as na uh, summation x na uh, summation x equal to 2 to 3 we need to know uh, sum the x values <coughs> n means the uh, number of values as 9 then uh, we need to find out the mean x bar equal to the summation x of x by n summation x in the square as the 2 to 3 if we divide it in the by 9 we can get a 24.77 the mean is in the fraction so we need to assume a <coughs> round up value as a 25 we denote by the denote by a so a25 now we need to calculate t <coughs> t equal to the x minus x bar x bar means mean just we need to subtract the x value from the mean value <coughs> if you do so we can get the t values and finally we need to sum these values now as now summation t now equal to t equal to 2 <coughs> then we need to now find out the t squared just to now square the t values then we need to now total them as now summation t squared equal to 362 then we need to find out the standard deviation <coughs> here is the mean value is a fraction that's why the standard deviation formula will differ as the square root of as a summation t squared by n minus the summation t by n whole squared <coughs> we have already found the values of the summation t squared and the summation t just to put it in the formula, we can get the standard deviation as a 6.30. Now we need to find out the mode. <clears throat> By looking at the data now, we can easily find out the mode because the 25 now comes in three times. So it is the mode. <clears throat> now we need to apply the Apply on the formula of, of na, called Pearson's na, coefficient of skewnesses. The formula is na, mean minus mode by the standard deviation. It is the normal one. If the mode is ill, na, that time the formula will na, change na, just to multiple with the 3 na, of mean and mode. That is the difference between na, 
ill defined mode <coughs> ill defined mode and the normal mode sometimes a way we cannot uh, we cannot be able to find out the mode that time we need to apply the formula as na skp equal to 3 of na mean minus mode by na standard deviation we know the value of mean mode and the standard deviation just to apply these values on this formula we can get the coefficient of na call pearson as na minus 0.037 it is a negative value <clears throat> in in the examination sometimes that they want to ask the call pearson coefficient instead of that they, they will ask us the coefficient of seriousness that time also we need to find out the call pearson coefficient it is a popular method that's why we need to follow this method only this method only <clears throat> thank you we will see you again until then stay tuned stay blessed bye